I would imagine this is, they're comparable to made guys in uh, Boston, Austria. You'd never see them fighting. You raise your hand to another made guy, you're dead. Oh, so Kiryu was, was killed by accident. He just had to get rid of him. There wasn't a hit on him. That's what I'm saying here. Very cool scene. You won't see any Italians doing that, I can tell you that. Obviously, he did something wrong. We'll find out what it is now. Unfortunately, I've seen too many guys get beaten at life. A lot of guys are pretty brutal in that life, I can tell you that. Not sure why he got beat up. Did he owe money? Did he not pay? Did he do something disrespectful? Who knows? Oh, he's a loan shark. You know, just about every made guy, you know, in that life is lending out money, shylocking, loan sharking. When I went to prison in 85, I had about a million dollars on the street. You know, you collect a point, two points, three points a week, whatever the market will bear, whatever deal you make. And sometimes guys don't pay back. You know, it depends. I mean, you want to give a guy a chance to pay back, obviously. You don't want to hurt him because you want your money. But there are times when people are just disrespectful, they just out to beat you, and you make an example of them. And I think that's what happened here. <laughs> You know, there is a time when the money becomes less important, the principle becomes more important. You can't show anybody in that life weakness in any way. You can't let people beat you. You gotta, you know, always show that you got the upper hand. That's why whenever I tell people, you borrow money from a Shylock, you better be in a position to pay. And don't ever borrow money to pay somebody else because then you can't pay the Jews, the big. <laughs> Uh, you know, a lot of guys needed us. A lot of businesses couldn't go to a bank for money. They needed it for whatever reason they had, and they came to us. You know, I acquired businesses when people couldn't pay me back. I acquired a Chevrolet dealership. One of the owners, you know, lent the money he couldn't pay. One of the other owners was a degenerate gambler, couldn't pay the bookmaker off, and we took his agency. We let him work for us, but we took his agency. Money makes the world go around, he said. Well, you know what? In a way, it does. Money is power. It separates the boys from the men quite a bit in a different way, in a different sense. Got to have money in his life. I'll tell you, I spent about seven months in jail with a lot of the guys that were in there for different reasons, federal crimes, mostly for murder. And they were a brutal bunch, I got to tell you. They really were. They operated differently than we did. Oh. I understand the, uh, they're pretty organized too. Very disciplined. So he's in trouble now for murdering that guy. あの社長に頼まれて肩着ぶっ殺してなおめえだろ。理由がどうあれ、肩着をやっちまったっつうことはどう幕を引くかだが、ちょっと待ってください。俺は。痛めですにやれ。安心しろ。肩切ったって相手
Notice in this game, everybody's getting set up by somebody. But you know what? That is the street life. Why wouldn't he admit he shot him if he shot him? What's the difference? Whether you, you beat him up and killed him or you shot him, what's the difference? Dead. Why would he have to calm down if you're holding the gun? I don't, I don't get it. Antani, Anobaso de Torita Sacerio Nite. So it's all Tarun de Novetarta. Was it the guy in the car that set him up? Kuzino, Aniki, Masaka, Antagalreo. You know, one thing is realistic. There is a lot of backstabbing on the street, a lot of treachery, a lot of setups. You know, it's a, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It really is most of the time. And that's why it's so hard to trust anybody. You know, when you're in that life, you know, you got to worry about the guys around you, worry about law enforcement. You know, it's it's a tough life to navigate. Uh, but this is the street life. I mean, does stuff like this happen? Yeah, absolutely. You know, not too much to say about this. I mean, look, like I said, you know, things like this happen on the street. People are backstabbing each other all the time. And, you know, money, normally for money, everything is about money. Yeah, later on, they called me the Yuppie Don. They called me the Prince of the Mafia. Never to my face, but that's what I was called. Why would he come out and say that right away? This is backstabbing within the family. And what's the reward for switching sides or jumping ship? Listen, during the, uh, you know, gallo profaci war, it was a war in our family way back when, Carmine Persico, who was my boss, you know, before he passed away and before I left the life. During that war, he was originally, uh, a gallo ally he was fighting for the gallows and then when he realized it was a losing proposition he switched sides and went to the profaci side and uh, he actually went after one of the gallows tried to kill him that's how he got his name the snake because he switched sides but you know that's what the life is all about you know it's survival you try to get with the side that you think is going to win you know that you're going to rise in the ranks a lot of backstabbing a lot of treachery so this is not uh, you know, out of the realm of possibilities, very realistic. Now, it seems what happened, he set him up knowing that he would be in trouble with his people and then try to get him to switch sides so that he can get the information that he needs to take over the family. So is he going to jump ship or not? Well, if somebody set me up and I survived, we'd go after that person that we'd kill him, no doubt. <laughs> Who shot him? Which side? Very cool scene. You won't see any Italians doing that, I can tell you that. So now we have to see who sent him. Lee was Shouza. See the treachery in this life? I, I'm finding this pretty realistic. You know, obviously it's uh, it's the storyline for the game, but things like this happen. You know, people do get set up. Again, it's all about money and power and control. They'll sacrifice somebody if they need to. Imoto. They're letting him live because they want something out of him. 
I would imagine. 我就不惜死在你眼前。那个男人跟我的契约没关系，所以我没兴趣。Oh, so Kiryu was was killed by accident. He just had to get rid of him. There wasn't a hit on him. That's what I'm saying here. Tanin no cho teme no dogu ni tsukau no wa gokudo no saga da. Dagara ore mo omae no chi o kanban ni tsukasete mora. You know, in our family, the Colombos, we had three wars that、uh, during my lifetime, one before, I should say, two wars during my lifetime, and that was、uh, from within the family. It seems that's what's happening here, and this is not uncommon. You know, a lot of people think when families go to war, they go to war with one another. It's not true. It's normally a civil war. It's war for power and control, like appears to be what's happening here. This is all pretty realistic. Obviously, I'm not a yakuza, but I understand the,、um, you know, the ideology that they have, the thought process, pretty much similar to ours. It's all about power and control, money, power, control. Skiatirze, sono kudara ne tatakai ni. One thing you don't see. Guys don't fight with one another. Something going down, beating up. Somebody's getting killed. They will get beat up. I would imagine this is they're comparable to made guys in、uh, Gozan Ostra. You'd never see them fighting. You raise your hand to another made guy, you're dead. So again, maybe Yakuza, you can do this. No. But it has to end with one guy dying. If it doesn't, it wouldn't be realistic. You don't ever leave an enemy alive. You know, in our life, if you thought you had an enemy, you not only took out the enemy, but you took out people close to him, so that there was no retaliation later on. You don't get hit solid in the face that many times and still fight. Two or three of those punches, you're out. Yeah, I thought this was realistic. I thought the concept behind it was realistic because there's always backstabbing in that life. I just thought it was it was well played out. Obviously, you know it's a game, so they took liberty with that. But the concept of it was true. You know, I lived through two wars in our family, and people switched sides, went back and forth, you know, to try to gain control of the family. So、um, I, I found this whole sequence pretty realistic. Okay, that's it for now. For more expert reaction, go to Gameology on YouTube or Facebook. You can also visit me, MichaelFrancis.com. I'm also on YouTube, social media, and、uh, enjoyed it. And that's it for today.